the old gathers there. <laughs> there we go then. Just going to be um, doing a little bit of, well, we've got the ferrets and the bag of net and the spade. Got the old jackers there. I'm just going to go for a little walk, really. We went on a spot with my pal the other night with a rifle after after a fox. Seen a couple of foxes there, but it was a bit crap weather for, for actually shooting them and they weren't coming in. But we also seen a few rabbits as well, so um, I thought I'd have a little look, look up there with the dogs today. We've got a free day off. It's supposed to be promised snow, but it's quite a nice day, actually. So, um, yeah, we noticed quite a few rabbits up there on the, on the lamp, so... I think they're more or less in the woodland, but we've got the dogs, so they'll find him. Got the old man here now, who's just been to Greg's. Yeah. He's had a bacon I'm butter. going to catch a fox and put it in a box, a hunting we will go. hunting we will go. Do you can, John Peel? So there we go, I'll get some clips out for the day for you. Um, brought that old ferret as well, just, just to try it, because it's not a big ferret really. It's not huge compared to like... Some of the objects, even you get. if we try them on some old water, you know, empty water, yeah, because I don't know what he's worked. I mean, the lad, the lad, you know, I got him off Jess, and the lad who had him got him vasectomized, so he's worth it just for that, really. You know, you pay a lot of money for that, can't you? But we've got the locators, they'll all be coming up for you in the summer. Well, he'll take, you, take your jills off. Found an old collar thing which is broke. I'm gonna try and um, fix that later on. Well, it's working, it's just come off the just come off the collar, last it? year yeah, in Yorkshire, the collar, yeah. could it come off? Yeah, off they go brittle, don't they? Yeah. But there we go, we'll get some clips and see what happens. So, I'm selling it, so I phoned my mate and said, Oh, I've heard, you know, fuck Jack Russell, you know. Yeah. Because he said, once you learn that knack, they're no good to him, he just needs your little yappers. Anyway, oh, my mate bought it off him. Oh, brilliant, kill him. And he asked him, Steve, can we come out this week? And so me and Phil took him out, took him to this place. I've heard of it. No, it's not this one. Took him to this place where we, every year we always had foxes out of it, like a little ravine. Yeah. So there's a lad that used to, used to go to Santamans and all, that big flower place, had all polytunnels and everything. Yeah. We always had a lot of rabbits. So we, anyway, he went up there, took it, got this new dog now, Russell. Big strong like Lakeland Russell, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, went to this earth, that old Jess of mine went in, his, his was behind it, because we didn't know how to, just, just let it run with her, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, after about five minutes, that Jess come out, and I thought, that's weird. They bolted him holes up. They always used to bolt, you see, because it was on a bit of a bank. Yeah. Anyway, this, this particular day, they went, fuck, fucking hell. Anyway, fucking that dog of his, fucking three hours. Yeah. It's like that, fucking hell. And it, you couldn't really dig it, because on the top, it was all public land, even though it was his fields. He got walkers, and I said, and it, I mean, it was legal to dig foxes, but you still got the other one. Oh, yeah. So I said, oh, it'll flirt in a bit, it'll flirt, and you can pack it, no, no, no. Anyway, three hours later, the dog come out. I said, get it quick, run down the fucking thing. And I thought he was to, to get a drink. Fucking hell, the bottom jaw was gone, mate. Fucking hell, all the lot was hanging down. Fucking horrible. Anyway, because when I got onto the other side, it was all bedding. I said, Phil, I said, it's all bedding here. The, 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 you know, the rock must have moved in. Yeah. After all them years, he took over. And so what? The moral of the story: that Jack Russell went in because they had never done anything, only fox. Yeah. And he thought he could do the same. He just wanted to kill whatever was there. Yeah. And he come off sack best. Fucking the lot had gone. Fuck so it. I took him to my mates. I said, you can't take that to the vet. <laughs> took him to my mates. See, they were out anyway on a Sunday, calling on all them little brat. <laughs> and his his wife was in. She gave us some penicillin. Get, get up, shot a pen. Then he went in the shop then. Yeah. But the full flap was hanging down on his chest. Oh yeah, everything was pulled down. Anyway, I said I don't know what you can do, we give it that and it went into shock a bit and then off he went and all. Then he phoned me on the uh, Monday night and I thought he was going to say he died or something, you know what I mean, I had to get it put down. I said, how's your dog? He said, you know, he said the wife took it to the vet. I said, you're joking. He said, yeah, and he just, he said, you want to see what he's done? And he put like little steel loops in his lip and lipped them over the teeth. Yeah. And honest to God, in two weeks, he'd never, he just knitted up like perfect. Yeah. Well, she, she must have said, oh, it's gone down. She, well, she said she was walking it in the party like where, where they live. Yeah. He's lived up near Attersley and all that. And she, she said it just it disappeared. She said, we've not had it long. 
Yeah. It's playing with another little dog on, you know, throwing the balls. It's yeah. like that, didn't you? And it, yeah. it, did, it said anyway, we couldn't find it. And three hours later, we got it. Someone phoned us. It's on the feet. Got it back, and this is how it's come back. Yeah. No cracking dad. Yeah. The vet probably knew, but he's not going to see the dogs. Anyway, he put these metal things out. Brilliant. He showed me, and it just knitted up completely. Put a mark on it. Me. But that was like I say. That was. Uh, Never Greg Mousley just and he was right. He said I can't. Once once you learn that knack of killing, of killing a fox, yeah. you can't stop him. Mm. Especially them Russell because they're that clever. Well, that's what the lake is bred yeah. for, isn't it? Well, the lake ones yeah, the same because you can't dig in the lakes, can you? It's rocks, so they bred a dog to kill a fox below the ground. But yeah. them little Russells are just bred to because yeah. they're all horseback. They just bred to yap yap and bolt up, move the fox yeah. on. This is it. Well, them lake ones. Seeing this fucking little dogs. terrier, he's doing all right because he, the dad to him. He didn't sink until he was about two years old. He self entered really, you know, a year and a half. Yeah. And he's bolted two now. You know, he's yeah. only just turned a year old. And it's in a minute, like you said, it's yeah. fucking years of breeding. Well, I've never forced, you know, we've just been out on a his mood. That's in his He's found gene, it, he's gone it? down, you know, he's, and, and he's bolted, so. You've not taught him that. You can't, something you can't teach him, I mean, they just. Yeah. You know, for a dog to enter that young. Yeah. Like usually with a Russell, if it's just a Russell Watts you, you bought of someone and you, you go and rabbit him with them, it usually take them a couple of years just to to start learning what the game's about. But yeah. He's sunk on instinct. Some some in his memory bank from years and years of breeding. Yeah. I told him that's what it's about. Yeah. He's never seen a fox in his life. No, he didn't know what a fox is. But he knows now. Like the other day, I'm pretty sure. He marked it with his badger, or I could see it, I'm sure it was a badger. And I pulled him away from it, you know what I mean? So it's all learning, you see. So I had, a, I had a pup then out of that Greg Miles and his dog. Yeah. Not out of the one that was killing the foxes. Because my mate, Mick Ogden, he, he, his son used to be the, the whipper in for Greg. He's only like 15. Young son, Sonny. And that's what he went into on service, and he was whipping him for him. Yeah. And uh, Greg, put, Greg put a dog over Mickey Ogden's little bitch. And I see Mick at the show and I said, I can never breed her. He said, she's in put. He said, I'll, I'll keep it a little, I said, I'll keep cracking little bitch. Lovely stamp on it, short in a coupling. Beautiful, like a little 10 inch box, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nice little header. Anyway, he phoned me, he said, good news and bad. He said, she only had three pups. Yeah. He said, two bitches and a dog. He said, but there's no bitches spare because the two bitches, which I promise you, he said they've thrown to like Greg's dog, big strong heads on him. Yeah. He said, but the dog has thrown exactly the same as a little tiny bitch. So even though I don't work, I said, I'll have it anyway, mate. I'll have the little dog. Yeah. Lovely little thing, you know what I mean? But yeah. I always work bitches, don't I? So yeah. it's like one of them. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. So I had that off him, and it, when it all came on, so you know, I got a bit thingy, windshot on a through them dick. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I phoned him up and the understanding was if I get ready goes back to him and fair, you know, he come right back for it, took it and then I seen him at a show then the Cheshire Cheshire Game Fair. Yeah. And he's there and he had this lad with him so I'll never forget. And he said he, he, he runs the um the Pipesley Hunt or one of one of these on sort down south, Somerset or something. Yeah. He said he, he's he's the um Teddy man for the thing, he did smart he And he said, Remember that little dog? I said he said, that's your little dog. He said, you want to see him on the fox? He's now, he belts him. Yeah. You know, like the year down the line. Yeah, the yeah. down the line. Lovely little dog, though. No, just the laws are always changing. Like, now yeah. you can use two dogs to bolt a yeah. fox to a loaded gun, and that's what, 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 what we do. And this time of year now, he's crying out, aren't he, with the lambs? You know, you know, the foxes. Once a fox learns to take a lamb, especially a vixen, it takes it back to the earth, to the cubs. They get a taste for it, and they naturally lamb killers, because... Not all foxes are lamb killers, are they? Or chicken no. killers, you know, some, some of these urban ones. No, they don't. Don't, don't bother, just some just live on worms and they live off McDonald's. So you just got to keep on control of them, really. The town fox and the country fox are two different animals, you know yeah. what I mean? They, yeah. they both look the same, but they are completely different. Yeah, definitely. The town foxes will come in yeah. gardens and you leave bits of scrap meat out for the fucking yeah. hedgehogs and Ellie. You know, to leave that. You get them all and foxes there. Yeah. Get them oh yeah, the big, big leggy range. We used to do a lot up in the lakes and that. The big leggy more, you know, hill foxes. Fucking hell, yeah. they're built for running. Yeah. Running now on them. Yeah. But they'd travel miles for a fucking bit of grub there. They'd rather be yeah, that too, yeah. So there you go, a bit of a chat for you, older. Bit of history. Bit, bit of history. Bit of history. Bit of history. We're uh, just going to get up to land you now and have a look. 
can't do anything now. I mean, no, this is when we, I could go out and pick it up. It's no problem. No, oh, yeah, it's all no. it's changed. That well, my air coursing's gone now, hasn't it? It's like with the badger thing now. And that old farmer bloke he was saying the other day, it's the badgers what killing all the hedgehogs off. That's why there's no oh, hedgehogs. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know they do damage. No, sit on here. I know they do damage on rabbit populations of badger because you get little dig rabbit. A, dig a litter of young rabbits out. You dig litters out all, 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 all summer, won't you? Them rabbits are all in one non stop ends, aren't they? When yeah. they have the young. Yeah. And do you know it's only the does who do all the digging? So, yeah, there you go. Little tip for you. Bucks don't do anything, the lazy. Only the does. Bit like in humans, of... it's the women that do all the work in rabbits. They do all the digging, the bucks just. Bucks get all the glory. Bucks get all the glory. Well, there we go. A bit of sprinkle in the snow. There we go, the river's quite high up. A lot of rain. Easy, easy. Here we go, good mark from the terrier. Hey, steady. I don't want him sinking on rabbits. Hey. Old buddy today with us. 14 now. Hey, get up. Here we go, then we've got another mark under a bramble patch. That's the three bramble patches of marks, but we're not too bothered. We'll carry on, see if we can do some easy ones on the heads. Book, 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 yeah. Find it them, find it them, find it them, find it them. There goes a bit of an old earth here. The dog's not really marked it, the bitch. Well, she sort of did, but then she's gone back down here on a rabbit, I think. Well, the little Terry seems quite keen, so. Is it Jim? Is it them? Is it them? Is it them? Yeah, I think it's um you can read your dogs, can't you? Going off the bitch. I'm pretty sure it's just a rabbit. But it's that big. I don't think we'll stick the ferret in. It's a rabbit in it, but we don't want to keep encouraging him on the rabbit, so we'll carry on. Little buddy there pretending to do a bit. What's he doing? Going to sleep? <laughs> What's he doing? Jackaroony. Bit of something been in there. <laughs> what? Got a bit of snow coming now. Is he in here? in a bramble patch so we just put the ferret down. <laughs> hey, here it goes. Get on it, Flo. <laughs> Up the top. But uh yeah, she's brushing my low. Get up! Doing alright though for a little young dog. 
Got the old SPS today off Webby. With um, I think they're like the thicker grade GZK. 20 mil straights. So they're the most powerful one on the, the three that you give me actually. But not really seen many squirrels or pigeons. These edges you see, yeah. which are a bit thick. Yeah, that's the fields we've been seeing them on the night on the lamp, but you know. There you are, there's one. See it across the oh, path. Yeah. But I'm hoping there'll be in these little edges here. Is it flow? She has, yeah. She's she's put it right down there. There's another one. What's that? Someone just won't run down the path there, I think. Yeah. See it right across the field? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch it. Yeah, well, that's where that, that easy Look. Warren is on the bottom. He's on it now. Watch him get on the line. Look, see him back. Yeah. Watch him. <laughs> Loving life. Across the look like a little fox. Yeah, well. Uh... Who is it then? Who is it then? Rabbit. Get out, Jim. Get out then. Go, Gil. Go, Gil. Who is it then? Who is it? Who is it then? Who is it then? Good girl, good girl. Two old timers hanging on the back there. Yeah, Dad, we've got a rabbit here. Where's that teddy here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch has got her tail going there on the rabbit. Here it goes, yo! Hey, ginger one! Look at that! <laughs> <It got far. laughs> yeah, we just decided to bolt these ones to the dogs. Yeah, there it goes. Bud. Oh, Buddy's on the line of it. <laughs> yeah, it's coming down. It's coming down the bottom here. Blob. <laughs> Betty's just gone up there for some it, but is it in? Get it out, Jin. Doing well on the old bush in. Where the, where the fucking Lindo man was found, Pete Bog, Pete Bog man. Anyway, what do you mean? They found a, fucking, a, a body in the peats. Could be that. Yeah, and it's called Lindo, uh, Pete, Pete Bog man, he was called. Yeah. And he's in, the, he's in the Manchester Museum, so many thousand years old, and they fucking dug him out. And it was oh, no, perfect, sure. yeah. If you, if you go Lindo Comet, if you just press Lindo in anyone, you'll see it all on the internet. Massive. And they called him Pete Bog. Called him Pete because <laughs> he was found in the Pete Bogs. Pete Bog right. man. Because I got way all the permission on a big sheep farm there, you know, to find the birds. Yeah. Anyway, we, we, this, this day we pulled up, got the dogs out, so go through these little woods now, our little what paths going through to get to the. Once you're on the Lindo Common, you're all right then, you know, for ferreting. Yeah. It's like common land, but no one walked that far, it's boggy and that. So we 
was uh, just got, got the dog till the end of the wood, got the dogs off. And that Russ was going to throw a little path like that, and he just went like that into this fucking back garden. And you could see him under the fence, obviously where the fox was going, but we didn't know what to fucking do. Under the fence, and uh, straight under the shed yeah. in the garden. So we stood there, what's he doing? Mm -hmm. Waiting for quite a bit. Wait. Anyway, Andy got over the fence. Got his, he's a fucking hell, he's being like mad, being. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, probably a fox light, you know what I mean? So I've got Jess on the path yeah. about half seven in the morning. He's in someone's back garden now, <laughs> under the shed with a little, you know, the little, used that little army spade, <laughs> digging under like that. I can see his back leg, he's fucking got it, you know what I mean? He took a belting picture, he said, hold your two terriers on a coupling on this frosty path now through a woodland. And he said, hold it with the fox in front of me, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I held it, like, years ago when I was young with, with the two terriers yeah. and the fox in front, you know how you do? Yeah. And he went like that, Andy. Fucking hell, Eddie Chapman, look at that, you know, because of the cap and everything. He said, you look like fucking Eddie Chapman. And, <laughs> and it was a cracking picture, the way it come out. Yeah. But, uh, you know, no, imagine no doing that now. Them, no film, phones, or was it that? No. What and, had, and, and what we used to do, all the pictures, you had to take them to Boots, the chemist, to get printed. Yeah. And some of them, if it was like, you couldn't put like a dog on a foot, you know, because yeah. even though there was no law against it, but they wouldn't print and they just phone you back up and say, no, we can't. We're not allowed yeah, to think it out. You can come and pick your film back up. <laughs> yeah. But he, he used to, he knew the girl worked at Civic in Boots and she used to do them all for him. I mean, it wasn't no what's it ones, yeah. but just like at the end, you know, when you got a fox, like that one, what we put in the shooting news with the fox, the six rabbits and the rat and the red letter day, and it was showing you how to rustle and do the three different quarries in one morning. Yeah. Which they did, you know what I mean? Couldn't yeah. do that with the lake and all that. Yeah. But yeah, when he said that, and it's happened because I had my cap on, uh -huh. my old wax coat, you saw always wax coats and in them days. Freezing it was, so I, I'm just saying. I, I wish I still had my old, the old pictures because he had a bit. He had them all in folders, and they were brilliant. You know, all your days. Yeah. Fed it in with all the rabbit. You know, because he was dead keen. He used to write everything it. down. Oh, he used to write it. everything down in a little diary. Little flag blowing like mad when he's lamping. You know, windy night. Yeah. Red letter days he put in, and oh, oh that's brilliant. He used to have everything bang up to date. I made his first terrier box in the back. Freer and Russ was always in the middle, Candy was on the left and Jess was in the right. <laughs> yeah. And at the top used to flip up like that on each little box. Yeah. So just get them out. Yeah. And then he'd, he'd sky, uh, fly the, out of plumber, you know, the fucking lurch that he bought. Yeah. David Brown plumber. That used to stay at the back of the box. But he didn't have the back pan with a sliding door and that. So she'd be there, Terry is there, yeah. very box would fit in the thing, you there, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Thing. Don't know. Jigsaw just dipped in on the head, I think. This is it, but, yeah. But when I think it, there was nothing. Yeah. I mean, my mate, Fat Andy, he was in prison. He was in strange ways. Yeah. And uh, he, he, he used to be able to use your, you know, you're not, he used to be able to use their uh, phone. Yeah, like and your phone, phone. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. They could use it once a week or twice. They can phone someone once, twice a week, I think they got a phone call on a Wednesday night. Yeah. Anyway, I just, only, I just only had the landline put in and he phoned me, fat handy. He said, fucking hell. He said, I'll be out in a couple, he only got a couple of months, you know, for whatever. He, he used to rob his mum's parrot and sell it to the pet shop. And then re, re, <laughs> then I'd re buy it and then he'd rob it. Out of <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, freaking great. Yeah. He phoned me up, he said, um, got a watch it here. He said, you can chew, chew plumber books, you know, in a library, in the prison library. Yeah. So he nicked me the book. No way, like, yeah. yeah, he whipped me, he nicked me the, um, the working Jack Russell book. Because oh, yeah. like I said, there was nothing, nothing, I mean, the Manchester Library, the first book I got, and I've still got it now, was Come Dawn, Come Dusk, 50 Years a Gamekeeper. Fucking cracking book. Yeah. If anyone ever sees that, get it. Yeah. I, I'll, I'm going to get buried with that book. Yeah. Yeah, I did. That's my first book, and if you read it, yeah. Right from when we leaving school, he was a little, little, little lad, and his granddad was a gamekeeper. Yeah. His job was a uh, rook scarer. Rook scarer. Yeah, he just used to have to go around with a, with a thingy, you know, to clapper boards, he was, they were called. <laughs> he used to 
scare the rooks off the crops and all that. Bloody that hell, was yeah. his first job when he was 13. Bloody hell. But it's cracky, but come down, come dust. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, whereas now you can just go on the internet, can't that's you? That's what I mean, Any that's book. how I do these videos. And you can, you, can, you can get anything. People was, that, you, you know, you're professional, you know, aren't you, after a yeah, few videos? There was, no, there was no what's it. Honestly, there was only plumber. That's why a lot of them hate him now because he had the monopoly on it. Because yeah. it was only him who writing books on what we used to call cloth cap fucking cloth cap sports, like like whippets and ferry down your track and all that. Yeah, like, yeah, fucking, no yeah. Problem. Oh yeah, it's brilliant yeah. now because there's stuff there that I could never ever learn only out of a book. And you don't know if he was, you know, plumber probably wasn't as good as he think he really. Yeah. But who else could who else could tell you any difference? That's it, yeah. But video footage never lies, does no. it? All that, you know what I mean? No, you can, see it. No, you can see it now. You can see dogs working, racing, hunting, doing whatever they do. Yeah. Mating, you know what I mean? Yeah, I see, yeah. see any of that. So you just have to take his word for him that that dog's all. Because he didn't take pictures. No, no, yeah. He just said yeah. that, that fly is not really out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas now you can just go like that, film it it's if like you're that way. Film it, yeah, exactly. Well, people buy dogs from overseas now, don't they? You know what I mean? Yeah. Send the video of the pups and the the mum and dad working. Sell them anywhere in the world now. But yeah, times are changing. But it's good even though we didn't really catch much today. But the dogs have had a good good session. We're all knackered now. But we've seen um nice to see that ginger rabbit and sitting around Yeah well this is it. Like we've seen a few there with Sean and he's not got a problem with he's not asked us to go up and do him or anything like that we just want to have a lot and others a few there but yeah oh yeah they're working well with the ferrets just need a good day on the rats with them and that really and yeah so it's all the learning school they at school for a minute but 